Hello everyone, I'm Joyce and you're about to see a Jarrell training video. The subject today is selection techniques in Word 2010. So here we go. Okay, so here we have a document that we're going to use just for a little bit of practice here. The first technique I'm going to use is to show you how to select just a word. So rather than using your mouse to click and drag over, which is fine, um, if you'd like to just choose a word and you just double click it, and there it is. To get rid of that selection, all you do is click away from the text and it disappears. Okay, so to select a single word, all you do is double click it. Let's try selecting a sentence. Now this is a fairly clever one. You'll need to use your keyboard and what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the control key on your keyboard, which is the bottom left, and then you're going to click somewhere within the sentence. That's quite a long sentence, but you can see it has actually picked up the sentence. If I click away, we've lost it. Okay, so let me try that again. I'll try this in the second paragraph this time. If I hold down control, click, it picks up just the sentence, which is very clever. Okay, now this next method is probably the one that, if any, you're going to remember. This is the one to remember. And what it does is involves moving your mouse, which is shown by that I-beam there. When you move it into the margin area, it becomes a white arrow. When you move it back into the text, it becomes a I-beam again. So, moving it into the margin, if I click once with that white arrow against a line of text, it picks up just that line. I'll click away to get rid of that. If I try the same thing, white arrow, but click twice, one, two, what it does is it picks up the whole paragraph. Click away, it disappears. This time I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to click three times. And what this does is picks up the entire document so that you can format it all together. So this time, one, two, three, clicks and picks up everything. Click away, the selection disappears. Now another way you can do that, as you may be aware, is to use your keyboard to do Control A. I'll just try that. Control A picks up everything again. Click. Okay, so far so good. Now, another couple of really useful techniques, I'll just scroll down a second, is when you need to pick up a, a big block of text. When you do this with your mouse, sometimes it gets a little bit uncontrollable and you sort of go all over the place. So we're going to use a little technique which will help you with that. Now what I'm going to do is decide the beginning point of where I want to pick up. So I'll click there just before the U and I'm going to decide where I want to finish picking up the text. Now I could scroll down a little bit further to find somewhere a bit further down but I will just say I want to go to the end of the word birthday. So I've clicked at the beginning before I actually click at the end of the word birthday, I'm going to hold my shift key down and then click. And what it does is it picks up everything in between the two points. I'll click away and just try that once more for you. You click at the beginning, shift, click at the end. And remember the shift key is the one above control with the arrow pointing upwards. Okay. One final method for you, which is really useful if you want to do formatting for perhaps a couple of titles, but you want to do them both at the same time. So let's say, for example, I want to pick up putting the car on the road and road license, road run license even. Okay, now normally when you pick up the first area of text, okay, you lose the second, that particular piece of text when you go to do the second one. However, if you pick up the first one and then hold down your control key and then pick up your next piece of text and you can carry on doing that, you will be able to format them both the same. So, for example, I could just make them both italic. So there we have some selection techniques that if you start to use them and practice a little bit, they will immediately help you to gain more control and also make you a little bit quicker. Right, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching on behalf of Gerald Training. I hope you check out some of our other videos that we have online. There'll be more coming soon. Thank you.